How to Survive a Recession The economy always has, and always will have its ups and downs. It's easy to coast through the good times, but how do you come out of the tough times unscathed? By preparing adequately, cutting costs, and making sure you still have some income coming in, you can emerge out of a recession just as strong as you were before it. These are some tips to deal with recession. 1. Create an emergency fund. If you don't already have you an adequate emergency fund set aside, specify a goal for how much money you want to add to it every month. Your fund should be kept in a savings account with your bank. While normally it's recommended that a two-income couple keep three months' worth of expenses in an emergency fund, during a downturn the recommended amount is six months' worth instead. This is especially important if you're in an industry that gets hit hard by a recession, for example construction, financial services, food, and if you're a one-income family. Dual-income families may be safe with three or four months' worth of savings. If you're self-employed, you should set aside up to a year's worth of expenses. 2. Pay off debt. You should always work to be debt-free, but when a recession is coming it's even more important to do so. Focus first on paying off your debt with the highest interest rate, which is usually your credit card debt. From here, pay off debts with lower interest rates as you can, working to lower your debt as much as possible. Reducing your debts will lower your monthly expenses and give you a better chance of surviving a recession if you lose your job or need to cut down on spending. Money saved from not having to pay debt repayments can then be saved for your emergency fund or otherwise saved. Saved money can be invested in securities when their prices drop during a recession. 3. Create additional income streams. In a recession, there's always the chance that you might lose your job. Your primary focuses should be to keep your current job and be ready to enter the market again for a new one if you lose it, keep an updated resume, investigate job opportunities, etc. However, you can also increase your financial security by creating separate income streams. These can be a second job, an online business, or any form of passive income. Even if you can only make an additional $500 or $1,000 per month, this extra income can help you get through tough time if your primary source of income dries up. 4. Keep saving. If you can, fit saving into your budget, even during a recession. You should make every effort to continue contributing to retirement accounts and college funds if you have them. If you don't have the money to contribute, consider cutting out other expenses to make it work. When you come out of the recession, you'll be glad you kept up with saving, and your accounts will reflect the interest you've earned during that time. Take a portion of your paycheck and move it to a savings account right after you get paid. In addition, putting money into the stock market during a recession can be a wise move. If you buy stock in reputable companies when prices are low, you stand to gain a lot of money, when they come back up out the recession. 5. Diversify your investments. During a recession, stock prices will usually fall dramatically, which means your investment accounts could be hit hard. While many companies and their stock prices will recover out of the recession, some will enter default and cause you to lose money. You can reduce the risk of this happening by spreading out your investments. Think about buying bonds, investing in securities from other countries, or investing in precious metals. These investments, particularly the last two, may move independently of the market and can protect your assets in a recession. You can also look outside the market to invest in real estate, like land or apartments, that will usually appreciate in value over time, sometimes even through recessions. 6. Enjoy life. In order to avoid recession depression, don't let fear control you. An intense feeling of paranoia can make you an inflexible employee and also strain your relationships. Be thankful for what you have and make sure to have fun. Instead of not taking a family vacation, for example, take a staycation 
or exchange your home for free accommodation instead. Invite your family to think of creative ways to save money without skimping on happiness. Accept difficult times as a challenge for your fortitude and adaptability.